Hello and welcome to another video. I've got this little gadget and let's see what it is. Wow. It is a 12 volt slash 24 volt PIR sensor. So basically this will turn on a load when it detects movement. And this is a passive infrared sensor. What we're going to do is test it. And to test it we will use this LED strip. The power supply will be this USB boost converter and we'll set it to 12 volts. There you go. So the LED strip does work. Input. We're going to plug in the power source here. Um, to say negative or positive. It doesn't. So let's double check the instruction then. Look. Output 12 volt, input 12 volt. That doesn't really help at all, does it? Okay, so I've looked on the Timu page. And if we have it oriented this way, this end is the negative. So I reckon I'm going to mark it. Negative, positive, positive, negative. And usually I would crimp for rules on the end of these, but we're just going to test it. A bit too long, so I'll just fold it over. Oop, that scared me, that turned on. Okay, obviously it can detect me. So there is um, a little timer sitting here. I think it's how long it stays on for. So I've dialed it a little bit. It's hard to tell where it is. But now I'm going to wave at it. We're going to see how long it stays on for. One elephant, two elephant, three elephant, four elephant, five elephant, six elephant, seven elephant, eight elephant, nine elephant, ten elephant, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 25, 26, 25 seconds. That's pretty reasonable, I think, for it to stay on. What else can I say about it? Um, it says that the module rating is 72 watts max, 12 volts at 6 amps. So if you want to turn on something that exceeds 6 amps, you're going to need to use a relay. Obviously, the, the, the best use case or the most common use case for, for these is to turn on some lights when someone walks by. There we have it.